Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store and Fred Newman Photography. And today I'd like to talk about film washing. Now you've got your negatives and how do you film, how do you wash the film? One of the ways, the least high tech way of washing film is in a tray. We could let water run in the tray and put film in the tray. One of the problems with that is as the film moves, it could scratch. When we used to do our Beyond the Zone System workshops, we used to do them this way and every once in a while, a negative would scratch across an emulsion and you get a huge gash. So this is probably my least popular way to wash film. The next way I'd recommend is one of these little tanks. They come by Kodak, Sescalite, a whole bunch of different tanks with film hangers. And basically, put your film on some film hangers, let it run, and let it fill, let it run for about a minute and then dump it. So we'll just let it overflow. And then fill it again. And usually about, I'd say eight to 10 changes would be an archival wash. The advantage of washing film over paper is the hypo does not really stick in like paper, which is a porous surface. So you can wash film a lot more quickly and archivally than you can paper. And probably my favorite way to wash film is with one of these. These are by Oriental, Gravity Works, a whole bunch of different companies actually renamed the same one. And this is probably my favorite print washer. And the trick is you want to get the, the volume of the water just right. And this works perfectly with hangers. You could do four by five or five by seven on hangers with this film washer. Um, you could even do rolls of film with this washer. And, um, but you do need hangers. They, it's hard to find. They used to come with a little, um, little basket for film, but that's a little hard to find. And what's nice is as this fills, it's going to fill up almost there. And as soon as this goes over, it's going to dump out. This is probably the most efficient way of washing film I've ever seen. I th this is just one of the most incredible ways to do it if you could find one. They don't make them anymore. They're only available used. My nickname for this is the toilet bowl because you fill it and you dump it. And the advantage of, as I say, is you're completely changing the water so that there's no hypo in it. And then when it refills again, you've got a totally archival wash I'd say in about eight to 10 minutes. I mean, 10 minutes, if you want to be conservative, should be perfect. So it's going to completely empty out, or pretty much. And then it's going to fill up again. As I say, this would be my number one choice for film washing. And once it empties, it's going to fill again. Using one of these tanks and doing it manually is my number two choice. And my least favorite is just washing them in a tray because there's the most chance of scratching. These two methods, it's the least chance of scratching. So I'd recommend either of these two, depending on what you find, but you're going to have to find hangers for them. I hope this helps to get you um, information about film washing. Thank you for watching. Bye.